All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the map trim command to select just a portion of a bunch of contours to create a surface. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my area of interest. Say, for example, I want this area here to be used in my surface. So I've drawn this in, and then I can use the map trim command to trim out all the contours outside of this polyline. So I'm going to select the boundary for this process. I'm going to select that polyline that I just drew. All right, objects to trim, I can select automatically, but I'm going to go ahead and select them manually, and I'm going to select everything. And the nice thing about this is anything that's outside of the boundary that doesn't cross it will also be deleted. Right. Down below here I have the trim method. I'm going to trim inside of the boundary. Now in this case, I actually want to trim outside of the boundary. I want to get rid of the stuff outside of the boundary. Um, I have topology objects, which I don't. I'm not worried about object data. And then there's objects that can't be trimmed. These are things such as blocks. So if the insertion block point is inside of the boundary, or outside of the boundary, or crossing it, what do you want to do? So I prefer to use the reference insertion point. So if a block is outside of the boundary, it'll get removed. If it's inside the boundary, it'll remain. Select OK. It's warning me that, hey, things are going to happen here. And choose Yes. And you can see it trims everything out. And now I can go ahead and simply create a surface for this. Add those contours to my surface. and pull the boundary out, so shift selecting to get rid of the boundary. And then I can add that in, boundary in as a boundary. We have it. Portion of a surface, slim down to create a surface from the contours in just a certain area. Thanks for watching.